everybody. Hello, George. Welcome, you guys. Glad you could make it on this fine Tuesday evening. It's actually a very beautiful day today. Um, sunny and everything here in Michigan. I, aside from it being super cold, I thought it was awesome. Hi, Julie and Glenda and Rhonda and Darcy. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Two for Tuesday where we get to um, have fun with our new November Club Couture Transfer. Now, our Club Couture Transfer is something that is a customer only transfer that um, designers, we do get it. We get one per month, but customers, the only way to get this is to be joining our club. Now, if at any time during this live, you want more information about our Club Couture subscription program, which what you're going to get, and I'll show you, um, I'll grab three of them. These are not the three colors, but they were the quickest three that I could grab. You get a full size transfer like this. This one has multiple, um, there are eight transfers that cut apart. Uh, they're not all like this, but this is what this week is. And then you get three um, chalk paste colors, okay? So um, you, they're always going to be colors. They're never gonna be white because white is such a basic chalk paste to have that we um, kind of hope that you'll get a full size white because you're gonna use it more often. In fact, we offer an amazing kit to our club members for um, $69.99. It's a discounted rate. You can add on our Kickstarter kit that has all the basic tools you need and multiple surfaces that are reusable that you can use with your Club Couture um, products. So um, you also get free shipping. So if you've never heard of it and you wanna read a little bit more about it and learn how to sign up, type club in the comments. I'll get you all of that information. Um, one thing I do love for all of you know our Club Couture members, I have an exclusive group that um, you get to be in and we have exclusive offers throughout the year and also great how-to videos and um, special stuff from me, which I cannot tell you about unless you're in my VIP group. So um, that's information about club. Hi, Jane. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Jennifer and Tina. Howdy, howdy, yo. Okay, so we today, I have two surfaces and I have two um, two mediums that we're going to be using. We've got our chalk paste, of course, and then we have our ink. Hi, Julie. Hi, Laura. Okay, so let me move this a little and we'll move it back there. There you go. Sorry if I made you car sick, seasick, whatever. Um, we're gonna cut this up. We're gonna do a kitchen towel. Oh, what fun. And then we're gonna, I found this really cool, like distressed barnwood looking like pallet board. Um, this is a square size. Um, we do not carry either of these things. These are just found um, objects that I would like to chalk on this and ink on this. I'm actually gonna do the inking first because this board is kind of rough and I, I'm afraid if it messes up the transfer then it won't work well on the ink side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this board over here and we will get to, gosh, there are so many different pieces to this. I love it. So let's number our pieces. Okay. 
That way I can number the backer sheets. And I'm gonna have to cut these so that I know where to write the numbers using our awesome transfer trimmers. P.S. If you have not purchased a pair of these, they are non-stick. So you, especially if you're a crafter and you use adhesive and you need to cut through that adhesive, these scissors are non-stick and so you can do that. Um, I love them. I have multiple pairs of them for that reason. Those are our transfer trimmers. They are scissors. You could have like a pair just for your transfers if you want, but I use them for different things. Okay, we labeled all of our transfer backers. Hi Debbie, howdy howdy. So I do want to do a few of these pieces on here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my chalk paste and I've got some awesome holiday inking colors. I'm gonna need a sticky, okay. I'm gonna use this ink mat and I'm gonna stick my towel. This is just a regular like potato sack towel, okay. And I'm gonna kind of center it in on this thing. So I kind of centered it this way and I'm centering it this way up to the fold. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fold this part over because this is gonna be a nice big towel for us to use. You can kind of see where my ink mat is. And this is gonna kinda go right in the center. My ink mat is a little crooked, but if I line this up, we should be good. Good to go. Put it down here a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the transfer off of here. Now notice I'm not fuzzing it because we don't want to fuzz it when it's on fabric, right? Because we want it to stick as much as it can. Start in the middle, work your way out, making sure there are no bubbles. Very, very good. Okay. Um, All right, good, good, good. Hi, Ann and Jeff Berry. <laughs> All right, so our Oh What Fun is, Oh What Fun It Is To Ride. All right, so now I wanna do this in black. If you remember, my black ink is a little um, thin. So I'm gonna need to be really careful and I guess, go over it fairly thinly. Is that a descriptive, descriptive word enough? Um, I have my black here. Maybe I'll use just what's in the lid. Um, I don't want a lot on my squeegee. because I don't want it to move. If I put too much, I'm afraid it will move and be not as helpful as I want. Like not, I just don't want it to run underneath my transfer if you know what I mean. Now it is stuck down pretty good. So we can always be hopeful. But the last time I used this, it wasn't 
I think it was on my um, one of my banners, which is a little bit of a thicker um, fabric too. So that could be. Hi, Shelly. First time live. Awesome. Welcome. So glad you could uh, catch up, catch me. All right, so we're going slower than I would normally if I was using maybe a different color. Just because black tends to be a thinner ink color because of all of the pigment. And so I'm kind of taking my time and, and, and it might help me. Oh, bummer. Oh, you guys, I forgot to, like I didn't, I did forget to do this, but normally I don't do it anyway. I tell you guys to do it, but I went off a little bit. So there's going to be a little tiny mark there, but it'll be all right. Life will be okay. And hopefully, yeah, I usually would say you can add a little washi tape or painter's tape to your edges. And by doing that, it extends this transfer in case you do anything silly like what I just did, which is go off the edge. So I'm just going to have a little... Um, a little boo-boo on mine and, and, and it's gonna be okay. Oh no, it says my chat needs to reload. So I'm gonna reload it. Oh no, can you guys, um, are you guys still seeing me and chatting with me? Am I still live? I can't see comments. Um, wow. I hope my internet... Okay. Seems to be good. Might be time for a break. Hmm. Darcy says it's fine here. Okay, good. Evelyn says it's fine. All right, so it must just be the darned restream. So I'm going to keep going. I can see Facebook comments right now. Awesome. It looks really good. You can even see the word what. So very good. Now, what I need to do is dry this so that I can come back and add some of our little, our little fun goodies. So I'm gonna take this off carefully, set it aside, and we're gonna dry this. And I really should have my hair dryer over here. I really wish that I could see more comments. Maybe it will work now. Nope. I wonder if I have the app downloaded. No. All right. Hmm. Such a bummer. Hi, Rosemary. Welcome. Well, it's a good thing we are um, just drying this right now. So while I'm waiting for comments, you guys, 
I'm gonna go ahead and chit chat a little bit about my awesome customer group, my VIP group. If you're new to me and you have not joined my VIP group, you're gonna to wanna to get in there. I usually have really great bundles of product that you can get for yourself and create some of the things that I've created here on my lives. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, we do have sales every once in a while. Um, so you can, you can get in there. And of course, we have different events going on. But that is only in my VIP group. And so you can only see all of those things if you're actually in the group. So if you'd like to join, I will um, send you a link if you type in the word VI or add me, A-D-D-M-E, add me. Add me will get you an invitation to my VIP group. And then you have to click the join button and you have to, um, you know, kind of ask to join and answer the questions. Just pressing this down. So we're gonna add a few little cute things. The first thing I wanna add is, and make sure you guys, if you are a, if you're a designer, it's not okay, like you're not allowed to join the group. So I'm really sorry, but it's against policy for a designer to join another designer's VIP group. So make sure that you are not yet a designer and you want to be inside there. <sighs> I'm still trying, I'm still working to get these. Um, there we go. Let's open this up. Um, weird stuff going on here on my end. Okay. I'm sorry, this is taking up your time, our valuable time. So I have this bird and the bird is going to go, oh I lost my, lost my place. I'm going to do this cute bird up here. And he's going to be in red. So I'm going to open up this red ink. This is um, Candy Apple Red. Just gonna make sure that that is pressed down. This is a little bit thicker of an ink, so that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry as much about it running like I did the black. You guys hear that saw? My husband is cutting wood for me. I'm doing a fundraising event. Actually, I'm doing multiple fundraising events for um, our local high schools, two of them. And we've got lots of people coming. And the best way to do a fundraiser um, so that I can donate the most money is to, oh, yay! I see comments, yes, Connie, I see you, Renee, I see you, awesome. Can you take down the banner so you can see me? Absolutely, Whew, absolutely. All right, so, um, sorry, I was just really hyper-focused on getting my comments going. So I'm, I'm just kind of putting my transfers over here in the water and I'm just gonna put a couple other things on here. 
Why? 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 Um, I think I'll do some of these, some green leaves down here, like two of them, and then I'll do some berries in there. That will be cute. Oh, I can't open it. Oh my gosh. I need a... Hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, I have a rubber glove. Maybe that will work. Okay. Oh, I got it. Shoo! You need like sheer strength to get that open. Okay. I'm going to press this down. I'm going to do this one twice, which it's kind of hard when you're inking to do it twice because you want to be really careful not to get ink anywhere else. So I'm going to lift it gently. I'm going to place it back down at another angle, but I'm going to press it down with my little squeegee. And then that should be good. Do two of these. Okay, I don't want to do many more than two in a row with the ink. So that looks really good. And I'm going to add um, <sighs> some little holly berries in the middle. However, I don't want to peel. I'm going to try. Normally, I do my cool setting on, on my hairdryer. This is really hot, so I'm going to move it faster than normal. This is a flower sack towel, absolutely, Vicki, yes. Um, and here we go. I'm only gonna press down right where those little circles are, and I'm gonna use the corner of my squeegee. Perfect. Lift. Voila. So now I have the cute green down here. We've got a big pop of red up there. And I think I'm good. This is all I want to do on this particular towel. So drying and heat setting is our next step. And on a flour sack towel, you're going to follow the directions for cotton. Okay. So you'll heat it at your cotton setting on your iron, or if you have a heat press, you're just gonna follow the directions on your heat press for the fabric that you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the ink so that I do not get it on anything. And then, there we go. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and peel this up. Set that down. And we will dry the rest of this so that we can heat set it. This is a nice big towel. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I find these towels online shopping for the most part. I would like to clean up this little spot, but I'm not gonna try because it'll smear. That's a problem, we don't want it to smear. I love this font right here. I love the swirls, I love the colors, or the, um, the letters, I think it's so cool. 
So go ahead, cut a sandwich baggie in half and place it between the lid and the jar and it helps the paste. Oh, smart Connie. Super, super smart, okay. That seems to be dry. So next, I'll go ahead and take the banner down so you guys can see more of the project. I need a mat. Um, only I, I only need this mat because of the fact that I'm not ironing on an ironing board. You don't need this if you're ironing on an ironing board and because obviously that is your mat. And I'm gonna have a piece of parchment so you could put just parchment in between it or just open it up all the way so there's nothing under it and then iron it. I'm gonna use the parchment and that design is small enough to just fit the entire thing. We're gonna do 30 seconds, then we'll check and see how it feels. We'll probably flip it over and do 30 seconds on the back as well. Um, it's gonna be gorgeous on pillows, Patty. I just love this transfer. I'm so, they hit it out of the ballpark when they designed this one. I absolutely adore it. And oh, what fun, like who would have thought to put those words? I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world are Christmas pillows. And, you know, just such a simple thing, but I absolutely adore Oh, it's feeling, it feels good, 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 good. Let me flip it over. And we'll do it one more time for good measure. So excited. There goes my water. No one's gonna refill my water for me. Yay! I could, I could totally have, um, if I um, had a little oops like that, I could have um, done something over it and it would absolutely, but I'm gonna tell you, especially in my kitchen, when I when I when I get this all ready for you guys to see it's really no big deal like it's barely visible right oh gosh I got something there too oh well I absolutely could I could have put more leaves down here or something but it's hardly visible and in my kitchen it'll just be super cute for like 30 seconds and then it will get all used and, you know, so, but, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think it's so cute. Awesome. So if you're like me and you do the tri-fold, this is how it will be. Let me do the, do it properly. My husband does not do the proper trifold, but I guess that's my issue, right? So that's kind of the proper trifold. Well, it might be a little bit off because I'm a little bit rushing it, but what a cute towel, gosh. And how easy, you guys could make multiple of these because these are honestly pretty inexpensive. And you could do these for gifts. You could put this, you could use this as part of like even wrapping. You could do this on a teacher gift. Um, oh, just so freaking adorable. Uh, thanks, Mary. Okay, we are not done, you guys. This was just project number one. We are gonna move on to project number two. I need to move my ink mats. Turn off my heat setter and grab my transfers out of the water. Okay, so we're gonna go through this rigmarole real quickly of how to clean your transfers so that 
we can reuse them. And I utilize my mat for this every single night, every time I wash my transfers. So this ink, there's a lot of black ink there. What I'm gonna do is grab my board eraser because this tends to stain, but when you use your board eraser, look at that. The majority of it will come off with the board eraser. And this is the front of your transfer. This is not the sticky side. Please don't use your board eraser on the sticky side. You wanna reserve that for other things. So here's the green, you can get some of that off. The red. All right, so now I'm going to rinse out my board eraser. I just kind of set that there to dry. And I am gonna take a, um, a disinfectant wipe and I'm gonna just wipe the rest of these clean. There, now there's a lot of wetness. So I'm gonna grab a towel, just a regular old hand towel and I just go in and dry it off, okay? This is because I'm reusing it again. You don't have to do this if you're just gonna let it be washed and um, let it dry naturally, which is the best way to get the stick back, the best way to get the stickiness back. So now I'm gonna flip this over, okay? I'm gonna flip all of these over and we're going to give it a wipe with the disinfectant cloth. We're just gonna wipe it, give it a little light wipe. We don't scrub the back. Scrubbing the back would hurt the adhesive. That's all I did is just give it a wipe. Um, and now, because I wanna reuse this like right now, I'm gonna take my fuzzing cloth, which is like a staple in the eyes of Chalk Couture. It's an awesome tool to use. And I'm going to stick my transfer on the microfiber side, and I'm gonna use the microfiber to dry this transfer. Microfiber does not stick to the transfer no fibers are gonna to stick to it, so I'm not fuzzing it. I'm just drying it. And it's super sticky now. So I'm gonna set it over here, and I'm gonna dry these little pieces. And for these guys, I'll go ahead and stick it back on the backer sheet till I'm ready to use them. Do you guys know that trick too? Um, it's really hard to put a backer sheet on a uh, transfer and get it even. But if you leave the transfer on its back and put the, the backer sheet over it, that is the easy part. Okay, so now we're all washed and dried and ready to move on to our next Two for Tuesday project. So here we go. I'm gonna pull this down. All right, now we do want to wax this because it. I want to save my transfer as much as I possibly can. It's so adorable. I absolutely love it. I don't want it to go anywhere. <sighs> do I know when they're gonna be back in stock? I can look it up. Well, they're always in stock at my house, so. Um, if you need one, I can certainly send you an invoice and I can ship one out to you tomorrow. What happened if I used it on the sticky side? Um, used what, the uh, board eraser? You will scrub the adhesive off and then you will have a non-sticky transfer. You can do that. You can deteriorate the adhesive. This is really rough. These are pretty smooth. 
but these are really rough. It's like, like did they put the wrong side on? I don't know. I probably won't go all the way down here with We could fuzz our transfer a little bit so it doesn't stick too much, but I don't think it's overly sticky and I definitely want it to stick. And you know, if I keep it towards the top, I can put a really pretty bow down at the bottom. So why don't we aim to do, all right, aim to put some red and let's make sure it's straight. I'm going to aim to put ribbon at the bottom. It's good to know what you're going to, when you're going to put ribbon so that you can leave a little space. Like last night I didn't leave any space. Now here is the conundrum of a board like this. There is, I'm going to hold this up so that you can see there is a big gap. Do you see that gap? I am going to try to make it work. I'm using black chalk paste for the main event. So all the words, we're gonna do black. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a squeegee. I'm gonna stir this up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and start covering. Using a little bit bigger of a squeegee. Oh no, did I use the same? Oh, be careful. So because of the way this is working, I have to be really careful. I'm hearing like little bubbles, we don't want that. Not at all, what kind of wax was that? It is a paste wax, finishing wax. Any brand will do. Any brand will do, it just needs to be a paste wax and then it will say finishing wax, okay? So any brand, Trying to get the gap. Close this gap. Okay. Hopefully this turns out as cute as that towel did. I'm a little nervous. Hi, Gloria. Howdy, howdy. Got like this little bit right there. All right, I'm gonna lift this up carefully so that I can kind of see, especially right here. Any wax works, use what? Yeah, I just use whatever I have, whatever my husband buys me and brings me home. Voila, voila, it's cute. So the only part that gave me a tiny bit of trouble was right down here and that is so easy to fix. Generally I'll fix it when it's dry and I'll show you how. There was a tiny little bump on this one too so that kind of got there, but it's good. It's all good. Good in the hood. Oh, what fun. I really feel like this one's gonna turn out excellent. I'm excited. 
Oh, Renee, I've got the board erasers too. Plenty. And the board erasers aren't going to be back till the week of the 25th, like the 18th through the 25th. So if you need some of those, let me know. But the fuzzing cloths, I'm, oh, you were referring to the board erasers, not the fuzzing cloths. Now I think I get it. I have those. Just let me know how many you want. And I will, I can pop some in the mail. Those are easy. Okay. I touched it up, so I'm gonna dry it some more. And then we're gonna add our fun stuff. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Missy. Hello, thanks for joining. All right, I don't think I'm gonna need any more black, but you just never know. All right, so the colors that you actually get in your kit, you get Candy Apple, you get Meadow, and you get Sage. So we're gonna go ahead and use these. Yes, Renee messaged me. Um, we're gonna use these colors. Well, this is pesto. I'm sorry, it's not meadow. So sorry. But you'll get the gist. They're very, very similar. This sage is so funky. It's, it works and it goes on smooth. It's just weird and like lumpy. I'm using it. I'm a diehard though. I don't like to give up on my chalk paste that easily. Okay. So we need to look at, um, let's see. We need our bird and we need these. I think, my bird can kind of be anywhere. I put him on the O last time. Maybe I'll put him. I kind of want to put him on the inside here. Right there. Let's do that. There we go. Only one bird. <gasps> he totally took Dab Nabbit. He took the back of that. I really didn't think about fuzzing or, I wasn't thinking about layering when I did this. I am going to have to do a little surgery. Either I dry that transfer and put it back on, or I do a little hand chalking with this little paintbrush. And that usually works out. It's not my favorite thing to have to do, but I also, you can kind of see the lines where it's supposed to go. Oops, I know, Renee, right? I know, right? Okay. There we go. It's a little thick, but it'll do. Um, so now I'm gonna be really careful. And frankly, I could put a layer of wax over it. Let me dry that bird. Let me dry that bird. And we'll put a layer of wax over it. 
Hi, Vicki. I love this transfer, too. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. Sneezes for days. Okay. Hopefully this works. And you just have to do it real light. I'm going to do... I know I'm going to put some green around here. Will I meet you? Vicki Hunter, are you going to be at leadership? Because I'm going to be at leadership. So if you're going to be at leadership and I'm going to be at leadership, then absolutely we have to meet. Yes, you. So you know what I look like. You're going to have to find me and introduce yourself to me. That's what I had to say at convention. I'm like, you guys, I don't, it's hard to say, I don't see you but you see me, so you're gonna have to come up to me. And don't be shy, don't be shy, just come up and be like, Sarah, I watch you, I'm Vicki. Thanks, Laura, thanks, Patty, thanks, Renee. Okay, so now it's a little bit waxed, and hopefully I won't have that happen again. I'm gonna maybe try to stay steer clear of and I'm not going to press it down just like just a little bit I'm going to go ahead and do some of the pesto for this and then I want to do this again like maybe over here Maybe in, in, hold on, maybe right here. There we go. Ooh, it moved a little. Shoot, I didn't have it pressed down all the way. Okay. Well, good, Vicki. I won't be shy either. And let's do one here. I need a little bit more. Okay. There, so we got some greenery. We're gonna have to do, let's see, what else do we have here? We have this little leaf. Oh yeah, let's do this little leaf. This little leaf of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. I just wanna dry that. I think it's looking really cute, you guys. I'm super excited about this one. This is one for the, for the living space, if you know what I mean. Let's kinda do what we did last time, but we'll use our um, sage. It's a little bit lighter. Gosh, I, sage used to be like my all time favorite color. It still is a beautiful color to paint walls. You know what I'm saying? Oh shoot, some of that came up. I'm gonna have to be Extra careful. Okay, we got those two. That's pretty light. Let's do, um, let's do one of these, just one, but let's do it in the darker green. Ah, 
I can't. Ooh, I'm going to have to go in and fix some of that. But it's okay. It is okay. We're going to take our handy dandy paintbrush and just go in here and clean up that edge. And I'm going to go in here and add a little darker detail to this. I'll let you guys see it up close when I'm done. Sometimes just adding a little bit around the edge helps. And then here, gosh, I haven't done painting for a long time. You may have seen it on my YouTube channel, but the painting one that I have behind me, um, can you guys, let me see. Can you see that one on the wall that has, um, it is this one. That was hand painted, all those flowers. Um, I hand painted all of it, not with paint, with chalk paste. I used it as like a watercolor. I, I should show you because it's it's been such a long time since I've done it and I don't know if you guys even have ever seen it before. <sighs> It was a fun day doing that, I will tell you. Okay, so we've got some striated leaves down there. They follow no rules of nature, none whatsoever. I'm gonna show you since I'm since I'm chatting about it. This is what I did. So all of that is hand painted. You can hand paint. I did all the shadowing, all the layers, everything was with chalk paste. And um, I haven't done that in a long time. That actually took me days to complete uh, because you have to let layers dry and um, it was fun. It was a labor of love. I don't think I could ever wash that off, though. Okay. Yes, Lisa, you're going to get yours inside your kit. It will be in your kit for sure. Oh, snap, Nicole. Thanks, Vicky. Oh, snap. Oh, you know what I need to do? which I forgot completely 100%. I forgot to fix this little guy right here. That had pulled up when I did the layer. And most of the reason is because um, of the surface that I'm using. It's not a chocolate surface. It's not at all. Oh, shoot, <laughs> you guys can't see me. Uh -huh. I mean, you can't see the project. I just fixed that part right there that was that had come up. Thanks, Gloria. Thanks, Patty. Okay, so moving on, we need to put a little bit more red on here. So we're gonna do some holly berries right there. I need a little tiny bit of red. A little tiny bit. And then we're gonna, oh, that one didn't pop off. I'm gonna do, I'll stick that down. I'm gonna do some of these red, but I'm going to 
put it here. Just want to balance out the color. There's a big red at the top, so I need a little bit more red on here. I like it. And I think we'll do one of these over here. And we just hope and pray it doesn't pull any of that black off. Lovely. That looks good. I think we've done a good job of balancing our color. I'm gonna stick those into and one more thing. I want to fix this little circle. Gosh, having a little um little paintbrush near your work spot makes touch-ups really great. Most of the time, you want to make sure that your chalk on your surface is dry before you go in with a paintbrush to add more chalk. Otherwise, you're smearing it around. You're moving what's already, what's still wet there. All right, so what we can do now is, um, aw, Maria, you're sweet. Um, dry this and then add a little fun, a fun, some fun fabric, right? Where's the stuff that I wanted to use last night? Okay. And hold on, I need one more piece of fabric. Okay. I should put some of this chalk away, hold on. That way I can work and not be so like crowded on my workspace. Tossing it in my water, and then I will clean it up after I'm gone, after I'm no longer live. So while I'm cleaning this up, you guys, um, let me chat with you really quickly about um, what it's like to be a designer. So I have been a designer for over two years. I started real quickly um, after we launched in 2017 and I have loved literally every minute of it. If you think this is really cool, it looks really cool, um, you could imagine yourself doing it or would like to, you know, work with me, of course. Go ahead and type team into the comment comments and I will get you the information to watch a video that's inside my VI or not my VAP. It's not my VAP. It's in my um opportunity group. So um just type team T E A M E into the comments. That's the kind of stuff that you're not supposed to cut with your transfer trimmers. All right. I am an addict to these colors and ribbons. I can't even help it. Oh, I cut that a little short. It'll be okay. So all I'm going to do is my like faux bow. Faux bow is fake bow. And in order to do it, I need to
it's kind of like we're just tying a knot you guys and then we make it look cute and pretty as cute and pretty as one can without actually tying where'd my oh no where'd it go i lost it shoot Oh, it's so short. Oh, you guys. I am so wasteful. This piece is too short. I promise I will use it with something else. Measure twice, cut once. <sighs> can't believe I can't do that. Measure twice, cut once. Never cut, realize you made a mistake, then go back, measure, and cut again, and waste, and be wasteful. I'm so crazy. Okay, so we lay that down, put that on top of it. Nicole, you got your kit today. Awesome. So, were you playing? Are you playing? Have you made anything? What's going on? That's awesome. Okay, here we go to save the day. And here come my million boards. 50, 50 boards for my fundraiser. And I'm close to needing more than 50. But I think we'll be good because that's a lot of work. Good thing I have a good husband. He's so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and that one is kind of already cut. I'm just gonna fold back that wire. It's kind of already cut in the V shape. I'm gonna do it again. There we go. Okay. In the V formation. Same with this little guy. So I have a matching 